Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm trying a bunch of new makeup products and I'm creating this makeup look for you guys. If you enjoy makeup tutorials and if you want to see more, please give this video a thumbs up. Tell me how you feel about makeup tutorials. Do we miss them? I definitely had so much fun creating this look for you guys. It's been so long since I did a makeup tutorial on camera. This is like my favorite thing to do. I love playing with makeup. I just sat down. I didn't know what I'm going to do. Didn't know which eyeshadow palette I wanted to use. And I just created this look out of nowhere. And it was so much fun. So if you want to see my first impressions on some of these products, not all of these these products are new some of these products are my og favorites as well but i thought it would be fun to use all of my new brushes and some of my new makeup and just put my makeup on with you guys so if you want to know how to get this look please keep on watching okay, so let's start by priming the face i'm gonna use all of the priming products that pack sent across recently you may have seen all of this in my pr unboxing videos recently and i've been really excited to try out all of the new makeup that i've received so let's just go ahead and use this this is the pure hydration gel from pack comes in this really nice sleek black tube with a pump packaging so I'm gonna take around two pumps of that so it feels like a very lightweight gel but very hydrating at the same time I think this is actually gonna be a really nice moisturizer under makeup pack does really nice priming products so I had high hopes from this to begin with I'm also gonna use the hydro fuse under eye cream because I do like to use concealers and all of that because I do feel like concealer just sits better on under eyes that have been properly moisturized. Now for primer, this is the PAC Spotlight Primer. It says instantly moisturizes, restores skin balance, promotes epithelial cells and regeneration. So I think this is going to be like a hydrating primer. Let's see. So this is like an illuminating primer as you can see, definitely not pore filling. And I think it's supposed to give you like a strobe effect. And my skin looks pretty glowy at the moment so I just want to go ahead and apply my foundation I don't really have a new foundation to try so I'm gonna use one of my old favorites the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation <laughs> and I am in the shade stromboli I've used this foundation up a lot I just shook it so you can't tell how much I've used but it's like pretty much gone till here I've used up almost half of this for today's look I'm using for today's look, I'm using just Rufa Beauty brushes. Rufa Beauty sent across their entire brush kit a few months ago and I've been meaning to do a whole video with these and I haven't used these brushes. You can see I've only used like one or two of these brushes. All the rest of them look completely white and clean and new. So let's dirty them today. So we have two foundation brush options. There's like a flat top kabuki and a round Kabuki. I personally just prefer the round kabukis over the flat kabukis. Just taking a little bit of foundation on the back of my hand, picking it up with my brush. This is the RB23 brush and now I'm just gonna start blending it into my skin. I don't really like to do a lot of foundation because I feel like it starts to look a little cakey and I don't want my skin to look heavy especially in real life so I like to take just one or two pumps of foundation and really make sure I spread it on my face evenly in a nice thin layer so nobody can tell that I'm wearing makeup although nobody's born with eyeshadow on their lids we'll see <laughs> okay this foundation brush is amazing it's very very soft and there are no streak marks on my face. It's blended the foundation beautifully. It just feels really nice on the skin. Look at how well that foundation matches my skin. For concealer, I'm gonna take my favorite concealer of all time, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm in the shade Golden Beige. Honestly, if I could just pick one concealer out of my entire collection, this would be it. It's so full coverage and really, really just looks fabulous and gives you the most even looking skin. I even use this on days when I don't wear foundation and just this in powder and my skin still looks even, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so let's just pop some concealer. A little bit more than usual because I am going to do like a very full on eyeshadow look and that can really make your under eyes look dull. So I like to do completely full coverage on days when I know I'm going to be going crazy with my eyeshadow. To blend this out, I'm going to use my YBP sponge. So happy to have these back in my life. These are amazing. Some of the best sponges out there. Look at that and that concealer blends like a dream. This is a full coverage base. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and use a highlighting concealer. This is the Sugar Magic Wand Waterproof Concealer. You absolutely don't need to do this step. I am doing this because I like my under eyes to look absolutely flawless when I know I'm going to be doing a deep dark eyeshadow look. I don't know what look I'm going to do today but I sat down and I decided that I want to pick up an eyeshadow palette and just go crazy. I don't want to decide what I want to do but I know I'm going to end up doing like some crazy artsy look hopefully. <laughs> so I just want to have completely full coverage under my eyes. So I'm just going to pop a very very tiny amount of that like that. Just like a few drops here and there. Blend blend blend. I like to take my concealers on my eyelid as well and that is just how I prime my eyes. I don't have particularly oily eyelids so I just like to take my concealer and put it on my eyes for priming. Powder, what else is new? This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. My favorite powder of life. I don't think I've ever found a powder that I love this much and I've used and repurchased this much because this is like my third tub of this stuff. It's so smoothing. It actually makes your skin look poreless. So I'm just gonna, like this is almost gone you guys, I need a new one like right now. Okay now before you set your eyes with powder, it's very important to go over your concealed areas again just with a sponge or with a brush, whatever you're using. Just make sure you don't set any fine lines in place because when you set things with place, you're not going to be able to move things later on. So make sure there are no creases and it's absolutely plain when you're going in with powder. Because concealer can settle down under your fine lines like super quick. So with powder, again, I don't like to let the powder sit under my skin for a very long time. I just go ahead and blend it with my sponge like that. Wow, I need to put this in my empties. It's been a long time since I emptied makeup, but I think loose powders and my concealer and my mascara, these are the three things that I keep purchasing all the time because I keep running out of these particular makeup products. Just gonna set all the areas that I concealed. Okay, now after setting with the Maybelline powder, you can see my skin looks actually poreless. It's crazy. How does the powder do this? It's magic. Okay, to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna take my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder Foundation. This is in the shade True Beige and I'm gonna use the Rufa Beauty RB26 brush with that, which looks like so good this is such a nice brush really really love brushes like this so i'm just gonna take it on my brush dust off the excess and set around my face where i didn't conceal where there was just foundation but i do like to set my whole face because my skin type is oily combination my forehead and my nose area does get really oily throughout the day i like to use powder blushes and powder bronzers and powder highlighters and all of them tend to look better on well powdered skin like they just blend better and they don't stick to any patches because nothing is wet on my face you catch my drift if you're a cream gal you don't need to do this at all just do your cream blush and your cream bronzer and you're good to go but i can't because my face will look like a grease ball in like two hours if i use all cream products i hate all of this gunk that settles on your lips i like to immediately get rid of it and apply a lip balm but right now i'm going to use the Too faced lip injection extreme so by the time we come to the lips they're going to be nice and plump and full it is time for the brows and I am going to do them off camera because I don't like to bore you guys with brow stuff. But I am telling you that I will be using a combination of these products. This is the Forever 52 Eyebrow Pencil. Very, very creamy and it's just such a perfect color for my hair. I really like it. And then just to darken my outer corners, I like to go in with my pack eyebrow palette and you can see the colors that I use the most right here. This is so good, especially if you're a makeup artist. And Rufa Beauty also has really nice angled brushes for eyebrows. So that is what I will use with this. These are the RB04 and RB13 brushes. And you can see one of them is like a long angled brush and one of them is a short angled brush. You have lots of options with Rufa Beauty brushes. She's back and the brows are done. Let me just tell you one thing. This brush, RB04, is sharp AF. If you want a really nice angled liner brush, 
definitely go for this. This gave me like the sharpest brows ever. And I know everyone is loving feather brows at the moment, but I just cannot get over my clean brows. I need my brows to look defined and clean and I just prefer that kind of neat look. I don't know if I'll be trying the feather brow trend. Maybe I should, maybe I like it. I'm not opposed to it. But for now, these are the kind of brows I like. So for eyeshadow, I have a bunch of palettes open in front of me, all from Colourpop. I have the Fade Into Hue palette, which I have used on my channel before. I have the new Smoke and Roses palette, which also looks so beautiful. Then the palette that I'm most excited to use today is this one. This is the Colourpop Witching Hour palette. And this is from their Hocus Pocus collection. And the colors on this palette just inspired me so much. I want to do something really fun with this, especially this mustard. Like, I want to put this all over my crease and then we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, let's pick up a crease brush from my Rufa Beauty brush bundle right here. So, I have three crease brushes from Rufa Beauty. I think I'll start with this one, the RB10. Oh, this palette has a mirror. Great. I don't have to hold my mirror which is awesome. I love when eyeshadow palettes have a mirror. The mirror has a film on it. Okay, let's put the moon is round all over the crease. Oh wow, I love Colourpop shadows. They just have the right amount of pigmentation. So beautiful. Look at that color. Isn't that like the most perfect transition shade with just a hint of mustard and orange? I love this shade. It's so unique. I'm also going to pull it out and start creating my cat eye shape. A little bit of winged shape because I do like to apply winged eyeliner. I feel like my eyes just look better with a winged eyeliner. So I like to wing out my eyeshadows as well. And should we do a cut crease? Let's take it all the way in. Maybe I'll do a cut crease. I love this you guys this is like my happy place and just playing with makeup creating something fun makeup tutorials have kind of lost their charm on youtube but to me they will just be the og videos that i grew up watching and that inspired me to start my own channel so i'm just gonna deepen up the outer corner and i'm still just using that one shade i've not moved on to any other shade this is just the first shade that i'm using so there's a little bit of fallout, but that's okay. I don't mind fallout. That always happens. I'm just taking my first brush and dusting it off. Taking love potion now. That will deepen up my outer corner. This crease brush is really nice. It's not too fluffy. And it's not just putting color everywhere. It's putting color exactly where I need it to put. This is a really nice crease brush. Going back to my first shade, the moon is round. Just helping to blend everything. Okay, I'm gonna take a clean crease brush. This is the RB08. This is just a little bit fluffier and softer. I'm using that to blend everything up top. We need no harsh lines, so I'm blending everything together. Using Life Potion again, the deeper red brown. Okay, now do I wanna stay with this palette or do I wanna add a whole other palette to this equation? Okay, let's just stay with this palette because it's going to be easy for you guys to recreate this look if you want. If I mix a bunch of palettes, then you guys cannot recreate this unless you have all of the palettes. So I'm just going to use this one and we'll see what we create. So let's take the shade Green Newit. I don't know why it's called Green Newit. It's a brown, deep brown shade. Why is it called Green Newit? There are other greens here. Like look at this stunning green. It's so beautiful. I definitely want to use that green. Maybe on the lower lash line. Okay, so that is the matte shadows done. Let's move on to some shimmer. Do I want to do a cut crease? It's been so long since I've done a cut crease. Maybe I've forgotten how to do a cut crease. Let's do a cut crease and test my skills. <laughs> MAC Pro Longwear Concealer always for a cut crease. There's no better concealer for a cut crease than this. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's put some fun glittery shade on here. I am going to take the RB15 brush, which looks like that, with the Cal Makeup Setting Spray to pick up a shimmery shade. Okay, so I have two options that I would like to use, this or this. Should we go for the gold one? Let's pick up the gold one. It's been a really long time since I've done a fun gold look on this channel. 
Okay, I'll just pick it up with my fingers. It's a little easier. I think I'll be able to perfect the edges with this brush better. Yeah, with the fingers, look at that. It is so beautiful. Yeah, so I'm just using this brush to perfect the edges. Now I'll just take this shade that we used in the crease on an RB12 brush and just blend all of this so it doesn't look too harsh. Okay, I'm kind of happy with how that is looking. Let's go ahead and apply some eyeliner. This is the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes. I'm just gonna line my eyes with this. And for my wing, I'm gonna use my NYX Epic Ink Liner. I mean, if you have to ask, you're new here. For my lower lash line, let's do something fun. This is the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Cat Suit. It's actually this green colour that it looks like on the outside packaging. It's so fun. So I'll just line my lower lash line with that. For my lower lash line, I'm taking this green shade called... Shade. <laughs> this green shade called Fur Black as Black. And this is the RB05 brush, very precise detailed brush. Now it's time to do the other okay, eye. So my other eye is also done. Now I'm just popping a little bit of mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. And after popping this mascara, of course I'm not doing too much to my lashes. Otherwise I would go ham with my mascara. If you want me to show you how to get a full voluminous lashes type of routine because I definitely have that. I like to make my natural lashes as long as humanly possible. <laughs> like this video and tell me in the comments below should I do like a full voluminous lashes routine kind of thing. I would love to tell you guys how to get the maximum out of your mascara. But now it's time to pop on some falsies. These are by Fempire Beauty. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a drawer kind of packaging. And then I think these are in the style Future is Female. So let's pop these on and be back. Here's what the lashes look like in the packaging. Okay, the lashes are on and now it's time to bronze the face. And I've been really loving the K-Beauty Matte Compact to bronze my face. This is actually a deeper shade for my skin. It is in the shade 180 Wide Deep and this works as a beautiful bronzer for my skin. And it's such a blendable, weightless, lightweight powder. It just blends like a dream. So I love using this as a bronzer. And I have the Rufa Beauty RB22 brush to use that with. Again, this is a little small. I prefer my bronzer brushes to be a little bit fat and just bigger so I can cover more area in one go. This is my favorite bronzer brush and this is the Rufa Beauty. I think this is a powder bronzer. This is a multi-purpose brush. You can use this for so many different things. But this is the brush I have in my kit and I think this is what I can use for bronzer. Again, I can definitely use this powder brush as well and we have a little angled brush and a highlighter brush as well. So you could use all of these brushes for different purposes. But yeah, I just want a thick, fat, big, chunky brush like this. So let's just take the Rufa Beauty RB22 brush and bronze the face. Well, this can be good for a nose contour. Time for the lips now. I like to do my lips before I do my blush and my highlighter because then I like to see how much blush I truly need. Sometimes according to your eyeshadow or your lip, you can need more or less blush. So do your lips first. <laughs> I love these two lip liners currently. This one is Huda Beauty Flirt and this one is K Beauty Hype. Both of them are very similar to each other, but both of them are cool tone browns and they like create a true shadow around your lip. I'm just dropping everything today. I'm just saying they create a true shadow around your lips so your fuller lips look more believable. I literally start like half a centimeter below my lip. That much overlining and it looks totally believable when you're doing it with a lip liner that has this kind of creamy but dries matte formula. So it blurs the actual line around your lips and your overlining looks totally believable. This is the reason I haven't gotten lip fillers yet. And especially if you apply a matte liquid lipstick on top of this, then this look becomes very, very like realistic. So have fun with makeup, it washes off. So my lip liner is done. For my nude, I have two options. This is the Kiro Beauty Non-Stop Airy Matte 
liquid lipstick in the shade peachy nude what a perfect lipstick and this is by Colourpop this is also from their Hocus Pocus collection and it looks like such a beautiful peachy nude look at that so stunning has a little skull embossing on the bullet as well should I do a mix of both? let's do a little bit of both I wanna have fun today that's so beautiful what a stunning nude lip that looks really nice with this look as well but let's just apply this as well because I would like it to be a little bit more peachy yeah this is perfect I'm gonna go back to one of my old favorite blushes the MAC peaches I think it would go with this look really really well and this used to be like the only blush I would use for months I loved this blush so much and I have an angled brush by Rufa Beauty this is the RB21 I actually really like using angled blushes for my blush angled brushes for my <laughs> wow try saying that three times angled brushes for my blush <laughs> but this one again is a little bit thin i think these brushes are perfect for somebody with a very small face if you find brushes to be like really overwhelming and big on your face then you can try these brushes and they would actually give you a very targeted result like this is the kind of blush brush i like it covers my whole cheek in one go but i guess using a brush like this has its own advantages you can really target where you want to apply the blush so that's what she's gonna do just gonna take a little bit of this blush wow dirtying my white brush for the first time wow this is actually not bad this is a very very nice brush for blush i may start using a smaller brush for my blush now i feel like it gives me more control and it doesn't apply blush everywhere Okay, maybe I should have done this step before blush, but I'm just going to use my pack baking powder set and mixing these two shades just to give myself a little matte highlight and bring everything back to life, especially under the eyes, in the middle of my forehead, on my chin. Just going to reapply some blush. For highlighter, I'm using this one by K-Beauty. This is in the shade Sunlit Gold and this brush is the RB19 brush. This is a nice highlighter that you can apply as naturally as you would like and you can build it up as well. I don't think I want a stripe of highlighter on my face. I just want a little bit of natural glow situation. So I'm just going to pop a little bit here and there. Just for some added glow. I'm going to take this pencil brush from Rufa Beauty. This is the RB06 and apply some highlighter in my inner corners. Okay, we are done. Time for some setting spray. This one is by Cal. This is their Sets Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just going to spray some on my face. And that was all she needed. <laughs> this is it for this makeup tutorial, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Do let me know what more kind of looks you want me to do, what palettes you want me to use. Do you want me to create looks with a specific palette that you may like? I would love to hear your suggestions. Also, do let me know if we love makeup tutorials. Do you want to see more makeup tutorials? I definitely miss them. So please make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on future fun videos like this and switch your notifications on as well. Follow me on Instagram for behind the scenes and all of my other fun updates. I'm excited to read your comments. Thank you for watching, you guys. I'm going to see you super soon in my next one. Mwah. Bye!